Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you my Lego haul over the past few months. I built quite a few sets recently like the Death Star gift for purchase, the Leia helmet, battle packs as well as some vehicles like the Justifier and the Bad Bat shuttle. But these are some of the other sets that I have left. Quite a few sets. I haven't made a Lego video in a while. So these were accumulated over the past I think what four months or so. Uh, I got some of them from Lazada, from to some from Toys R Us, Brickswell Lego stores and some from Carousel. So quite a mix of new releases as well as retired sets. We'll go through them. Uh, we'll start with the smaller sets first and I'll talk about what I intend to build and do with some of these other sets basically. So first up, this is the Lego Barnacle gift for purchase that came out earlier this year. Big Barnacle fan, so I was really hyped to see the Barnacles come back. Although I do wish they had like a full collection of these, it would been really cool. Uh, but yeah, really nice gift for purchase and pretty low threshold to redeem this one. Over here we have a friend's bubble tea set. I think this one retails for $14.90. I actually got this one for free because I had some points from the Lego Lazada member store thing. Uh, so I redeemed my points and I got this for free, which is quite a decent. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Might give this one away or might include it in my Lego City in the future. I do like the colors in here and um, yeah, bubble tea, pretty cool. Over here we have the moving truck gift for purchase. This one also came out earlier this year. I think it was in February. Retail, uh, that's no, no retail price, but the threshold to redeem this was $290, which is quite high. I think it's quite a nice set, although I'm not a big fan of the stickers. Another gift for purchase set, this is the Charles Dickens Christmas gift for purchase, came out in 2019. This was actually a set that came out uh, when I first started getting back into Lego. And unfortunately I missed out on getting this one, I think the threshold was like $180, which is not too bad compared to the prices these days. So yeah, pretty cool set, I think I bought this one from Lazada, I think, or Carousel, and I paid about 20 something, less than $30, which is quite decent. So yeah, pretty cool. Another gift for purchase set we have here is the flower pot. This one came out sometime earlier this year as well, I think in like April or so. I think it was like $249 to redeem this one. I'm not a big fan of it, I think it's quite interesting, but it is quite small. I do like the colors and I'll like to build it and add it to my other uh, floral sets. Another gift for purchase here is the FC Barcelona Celebration. When you purchase the Barcelona New Camp set, I didn't buy the stadium, uh, but I bought this one on the Zard. I think it was quite a decent price. I do like the minifigures in here. Another gift for purchase set that came out some time ago, this is the Battle of Hoth mini dorama set. I think it was sometime in 2021, I think. Um, yeah, I do like these mini dorama sets. I've collected all of them except for the Battle of Endor. For some reason, that's the most expensive one. So yeah, still looking for a good deal on that set. The Last Family Homestead Kitchen, this one came out on May 4th last year. Unfortunately, I missed out on getting this one from the store. Um, so I bought this one on Lazada and I think I paid about $40 for it. So not a bad deal, considering you do get an exclusive minifigure, and yeah, it's quite a nice little display set. Alright, here we've got Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. This one came out in January 2021. Retails for $90, which is quite decent compared to the other X-Wings uh, released before this one. Um, it is a bit scaled down, it's not as fancy, but you do get four minifigures in here, and I still think it's a great looking set. I think it's going to retire this year, so if you haven't picked this one up, I think it's worth checking out. And I got this one for like 20 or 25% off, so pretty decent deal. One of my favorite Star Wars sets released this year, the Executor Super Star Destroyer. Retails for $109.90, released on May 4th, 2023. I think this is a great set. It looks really impressive and it's a lot larger than I expected. I think it's like 40 something cm long. And yeah, overall, it's a great display piece. Do like the 40th anniversary uh, piece there, it's printed as well. So yeah, great set and really glad to add this one to my collection. I'm probably going to build this one um, soon as. Over here, we have the TIE Fighter. This is a retired set. I think it came out some time ago, maybe like 2015, not too sure. Or maybe 2012. Yeah, basically some time ago. Um, big fan of TIE Fighters, so I do want to pick them up as and when I see a good deal. So I got this one on Carousel and I paid, I think, like close to retail price. So yeah, pretty excited to have this one. And uh, yeah, I've got quite a cool, exciting TIE Fighter set, which I'll show you at the end of this video. But yeah, this one's a really nice one. And I do, um, yeah, like I said, glad to add more TIE Fighters to the collection. One of my favorite Star Wars ships in the Star Wars universe. Another retired Star Wars set here is the Death Star Final Do. We did have a Death Star Final Duel set released this year, which was the um, Diorama one for like $159.90. But compared to this one, like this has way more minifigures, way more play features. It doesn't look as cool as a display piece, but it's still a fun play set. And I think I paid less than retail price. I think it was like close to $100 or so. So pretty decent deal. Um, glad to have this one. Uh, I actually don't own any Palpatine minifigures, I think. So glad to finally have one. And yeah, overall it's a great play set. Cool minifigures in here and paid quite a decent price for it. Here we've got two of the Star Wars helmets. I collect all these Star Wars helmets, so these were the only two missing from my collection. Honestly, not a big fan of them. I don't really like white helmets because they do tend to yellow with time uh, when exposed to sunlight, and unfortunately my display is quite exposed. But yeah, I had to complete the collection, and I think 
these retail for hundred ninety ninety each, and I paid, I think it was like ninety dollars or so, so not that bad a deal. And yeah, I think they are starting to grow, and I quite like Captain Rex's helmet. Although I'm not a big fan of the stickers at the side. Another Star Wars set released this year. This was the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus Tie Interceptor. Retails for hundred fifty nine ninety. Not a big fan of the Fang Fighter. Honestly, it looks very flat and bare. But the Tie Interceptor, like I said, I'm a big fan of Tie Ship. So, re looks really cool. Very impressive. When I saw it on display, I think it's quite a lot larger than I expected. And I think, out of the hundred fifty nine ninety price tag, it's probably like hundred dollars equivalent. And yeah, I got this for like twenty five percent off. So pretty decent. Another Star Wars set we have here is the Dagobah Jedi Training Dorama. One of the first few Dorama sets that came out, I think it was last year or the year before. Retails for $139.90. Um, pretty cool set, I do like the colours in here. And this one contains a thousand pieces, although lots of tiny green pieces to make up like the slimy waters. A set I'm really excited about, this is the Raiders of the Lost Ark Temple of the Golden Idol. Big fan of Indiana Jones, so I was really hyped to see um, you know, Indiana Jones come back in Lego form. I do wish there'll be more Lego Indiana Jones sets to come in the future, although I highly doubt it. This one is $249.90 retail price, and I got this for like 25% off. So yeah, really cool set, lots of fun play features. Although I'm not a big fan of these stickers, I do wish the quotation was printed. And uh, yeah, the shape is a bit, like the set is a bit curved, so I'm not sure how I'm going to display it. But yeah, it's a really cool set, lots of cool play features, and like, uh, I think some light up parts as well. So yeah, really glad that's on my collection, and I think I've got all of them except for the fighter plane chase, which I have to get in at some point. Over here, I have a set I've been wanting for quite a while. This is the only Technique set I've bought in some time. This is the Batman Batmobile. Um, I did see a pretty cool replicable model that I want to, you know, convert this one to. So this one retails for $159.90. Quite a few cool features and uh, like two light up pieces as well. Um, yeah, so really glad this one's in my collection. And last but not least, we have the UCS TIE Fighter. This one came out quite some time ago. I think it was like 2015, 2016. Um, yeah, like I said, big fan of TIE Fighters. And this is one of my most wanted UCS ships. So really glad to have this one now. And I think I paid under retail price. I'm not too sure how much retail is. I mean, worse for this set, but I paid about two fifty. So I think that's quite a decent price. It's cheaper than UCS sets that are released currently for like $370. So overall, pretty pleased with my haul. Quite a few sets over the past few months. Uh, I do intend to get a couple of new sets, especially with the Black Friday sales, Christmas sales coming up as well. And with the whole Singapore uh, Lego online store going live where you can stack gift with purchases, I think I might, I do see myself buying more sets uh, in the time to come. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Lego videos to come soon. And I'll probably do more hauls and, uh, you know, reviews when I have time as well.